is Anna Burleson. I'm the practice manager of the ACT team. Have we met before? We, I'm not sure we've met in person, but we've spoken on the phone a couple of times. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to first um, let you know that I am going to um, change out your caseworker. Um, I'm going to assign a Daniel Staples. We call him Danny. Um, he's been with the agency 20 years. He's more seasoned. Um, and I think he'll be able to assist you better. Um, well, see, this has that- been a pattern, ma'am. What happens is when they get a case manager... That and the case manager is supposed to ignore me to when it comes to my domestic violence crisis or fleeing abuse, and then when they get trapped off in it, they give me another caseworker that is even worse in giving me services. I've been this is a pattern that has followed me years, so I have asked the same caseworker several times about getting me help in domestic violence. And they said they had a caseworker, um, a, a victim's advocate that I could speak with, and it has he has been ignoring me. I'm trying to interrupt that pattern that has been following me years. So with the MHMR, uh, with Metro Care and MHMR in Dallas, they let me live in a tent and would not get me off the streets of terrified for my life. I used to get threatened three or four times a day. And I was forced to live in a tent in this community where a guy pulled a gun on me and that I couldn't get law enforcement. I told the police that the guy pulled the gun on me and they covered for him. It was, it's recorded and it was on camera footage. Well, and I know it's been the holidays, but I will double check with that victim's advocate. Um, but as far as working with Danny, um, again, he's worked with the agency for 20 years. Um, and so he knows a lot more resources. And so I think he'll be able to assist you better and we will not change him out again. Um, you'll also still have Kayla for therapy um, and then Steven for peer services. Okay, so Eddie is no longer going to be my uh, case manager, and you're going to get someone who's seasoned. So what happened to Eddie uh, responding? He ignores me when I talk about domestic violence. What happened to the victim's well, advocate? Well, he he has been out on PTO, um, so we're going to move everything over to Danny. Okay, so, so what is Danny going to do about the domestic violence crisis? Well, when you meet with him, he will also help provide you resources. What is I, Metro thing- Care? What does Metro Care offer the programs? Because no one has ever told me they refer me to another place. I, I told um, I told your supervisor. So I told Eddie that I wanted to do some things to build my life up, and I wanted to get involved. I just didn't want to sit and you know doing nothing. And um, he has not told me about any. Pl- um, any programs or anything I know I've saw at uh, CPS, there's a family reunification program. And each time I ask about it, I, I'm ignored. So those aren't services we provide. We could help research those services with you and help, help you call those places, but we don't provide those services. Okay. Okay. Um, Another thing um, that I wanted to talk with you about. Um, so recording. It's, um, come to my attention. Recording. Um, that you've been recording staff and posting it on the internet. Yes. Because you so, know why? Conspiracy to violate rights is criminal. And I, crimes have been committed to, to deprive okay. me of services intentionally. So when these okay, caseworkers so, ask that, when these caseworkers deny me service and play games and ignore me when I uh, tell them about I'm in a domestic violence crisis and a conspiracy, that's cr- uh, conspiracy, it's criminal. So if someone well, is enlisting so, these caseworkers to behave the way that they've been behaving years, it's criminal. So that's well, why I'm doing it because I, I want to expose how many people are sabotaging the systems for me. And okay, that's well, what's been going on. Is that we will never... Um, record you um, unless there's been some type of permission. Um, Who told you about it? Because that's what the police that, departments do when to sabotage me to get any assistance. They start talking about me recording crimes with my phone. That's a pattern. We're deflecting okay. on how you have case workers that was depriving me of assistance on me recording okay. crimes being committed. So our policy is MHMR will never record you. I'm not being heard, ma'am. I was recording staff misconduct. Sign for 
ignored. That I, has been ignored been years. Today. I'm not being heard, ma'am. I was recording staff misconduct. I get it these happens. calls. I get these calls. I, I don't really get a lot of my calls. And then when I get the calls, it's problematic and cover up. Okay, so I'm not being heard. I, I was recording you? staff misconduct that has been ignored years, five plus years. Well, I wanted to expose that these caseworkers were not doing first. what they're supposed to do when they, they were covering for my abuse and uh, contributing to psychological abuse by ignoring me. So we're so deflecting Kiana, on the misconduct of caseworkers. Kiana, I hear what you're saying. But these are our, po let me finish explaining our policies. So MHMR will never record you without your permission. It's very rare that we do so. You would sign a form, there would be an expiration date, and it would state what it was being used for. Oh, I'm not being Our heard. Recording. I didn't start recording staff until they started committing crimes, conspiracy to violate rights crimes. That's when I started recording so, staff. Um, Eddie said that he was going to take me because my phone kept malfunctioning and I couldn't get my calls. He tried to call me and I couldn't get my calls. My phone kept malfunctioning. And then he told me his supervisor said that he couldn't take me to the police department to record, um, to report the crimes going on with my phone. Right. You have the ability to ride a bus. So you would be able to go to the police station on your own. Well, there's other um, caseworkers that help people and don't require them to go, go to corrupt police that have falsely arrested them for profit 20 times. I thought that he was supposed to be a support system. Uh, we are support and we can work with you on that before you go, but you have the ability to go on your own. Yeah, that's what I was recording because I get treated differently than a lot of other people that are on, are on the ACT team. Because I had another caseworker, Adrian, that took someone f to uh, report her abuse and help support her through it and would not do the same for me. I had other caseworkers, I witnessed caseworkers taking people to the pantry and stores and all kind of things. And I just had to look at it because I wasn't getting the same services. People have moved into apartments and then uh, MHMR and MetroCare has blatantly lied to me about uh, resources they have for housing. Just blatantly lied. So that's okay, why I had well. to do things that I don't typically, I don't feel comfortable with it either. But the only way that I have noticed that I can uh, stop this abuse is allowing people to hang themselves. And when you, every okay. call, they're denying services or covering for crimes, then you can see that crimes are being committed. And if you have caseworkers that are refusing me service, sabotaging assistance, ignoring me in my crisis, overly, uh, openly, repetitively, over and over for months, and then I guess get, uh, Eddie don't want to be a conspirator in this chaos. So like the same pattern, another caseworker that gives you even less services. I've already been through this. So Miss Kiana, let me finish stating our policy. Our other policy is, is that um, if you're going to continue to record our staff first, that we ask that you not, but if you're going to continue to do so, um, we may have to start meeting with you at other places because we don't record, allow recordings in our facilities or in our company vehicles. So we would have to meet with you somewhere else, not on MHMR property. Um, and then there could be other determinations that we would have to meet. Um, We're deflecting, we ma'am. We're deflecting on how you, there is misconduct with your white caseworkers that have blatantly lied to me about services and sabotage assistance year after year that is ignored each time I report it. Just like at the bridge when they were sabotaging assistance would not give me shelter placement. And then um, they had put me out when I tried to report being harassed. They couldn't get their life straight. Then they concocted that I, they put me out for six months because I was recording. Well, I was recording them denying me services how they've been doing facilities. years. I'm talking about MHMR of Tarrant County. Well, I'm just trying to These establish a pattern, ma'am. We are still going to serve you. I'm still going to have a case manager come out and see you. Okay, what if they deny assistance, ma'am, in the conspiracy? How do I um, show that? Because it's a crime. I was told that I can record active crimes. You can contact our complaints line. Well, I, um, okay, ma'am, we'll see how this goes. Cause normally the news case workers, um, lie and say that they can only help with mental health and can't do anything else. They don't give, okay, give me referrals are, properly. Would you like our complaint sign? Um, who told you about the YouTube channel? 
Because if someone from the YouTube channel is contacting people again, they, that's I need to report that to the police. So I think the police is behind it, and um, I think the police is behind it like they, ma'am, I think the police is behind it like they used to be, and then blaming it on the YouTubers, crimes that they're committing. So who told you about the YouTube channel? I don't recall. Well, that's vital because if these YouTubers are contacting people again, well, sabotaging my life, public, I need to report that to the police. Restricted. I'm sorry? So if it's your YouTube is public. You don't have it restricted, so anyone can. No, I'm not being look. heard. I'm being violated, and I'm trying to build up a track record of crimes being committed to keep me from uh, to sabotage my life and railroad me. So, if these okay, people well, are contacting people again to validate the reason I'm be already being denied services before they even contact them and try to control okay. me with threats that I can't up to upload crimes being committed like they've been doing in the past. So they can get away with another five plus years. I'm trying to interrupt the pattern. I want people to know all the, uh, everywhere I turn, the crimes being committed to keep me in abuse. I want people to know that Eddie has been playing around two months, ignoring me anytime I talk about domestic violence, disregarding my value. And then couldn't take me when my life, it was vital because I'm going through all this chaos and my phone would shut off. And he knew I told him multiple times how I couldn't get a hold of him and he couldn't get a hold of me because my phone was shut off on those occasions. So he was a witness of it. And by him denying me the right to take me to the police department as a witness, that was devastating. Miss Kiana, do you want our compliant or complaint line that you can call and make a complaint? I want the uh, someone something to be done. You can give me the complaint line, but I want something to be done about these crimes being committed. And the misconduct okay, well, and mistreatment I have all across the board. You're ready. Okay, what is the number? 817. Okay. 569. Okay. 4367. Okay, and we did not discuss on the what happened with the victim's advocate that Eddie and that other lady said that they found. That he ignored yes. me when I asked where she was at. Actually, I stated at the beginning that it had been, there had been the holidays for... Well, he did Christmas it another time, ma'am. He, I asked him to help me. Will, it's been months. It's been months, ma'am. I'm not being heard. You're a supervisor? I am. Okay. So, I'm not being heard. It's been months. And he found no one. And each time that I, um, you know... Um, emphasize the importance of it he has someone else that um intervene interrupts and does nothing each so time he brings someone called, um safe haven i'm sorry i was told that y'all called safe haven what happened that during that phone call i'm uh in the conspiracy people are denying me services all, all over so that's what i'm trying to okay. expose it so conspiracy to violate rights was made and you did call and they denied you. I had I found Safe so, Haven on my own. And um, I've been calling Safe Haven for a long time. And they've been playing games. And I asked Eddie to take me to Safe Haven. And we called Safe Haven. But there's a lot more places than Safe Haven. He wanted to um, refer me to problems. Are you currently with a partner who is... I have a uh, I have a stalker. I have a stalker that is controlling my environments and enlists people into abuse to deprive me of services. He has really uh, he's really powerful and have really um, big connections. So everywhere I turn and my phone keeps going off on the women, I don't get my calls and I get people call me for problems. Have you made a police report? I the, the police won't investigate. Eddie has experienced that me telling him that my phone wasn't working and he he had knowledge that um, the legal aid had been calling me and I told him, you know, that I wasn't getting the calls. So he knows firsthand about the problems going on with my phone and I showed him, you know, how I wasn't getting the calls. Right. And well, our services are outpatient care. We provide psychosocial rehab and we can help refer to other uh, services. That is out of our scope. If you've if you've made a report to the police and you've called Safe Haven, then that is out of our scope of what else we're able to do. 
but I will um, email our victim's advocate and see um, if she um, what if she's able to contact anyone and if she's okay. Able let to me make sure I understand. Home. Let's dissect this because this happened five plus years. So you will contact your victim's advocate and you will see what, ma'am? When she is able to contact you. Oh, when she's able to she's contact you. When she's able or if she's able, that's why I record, ma'am, because you got to see it to believe it. So if I'm getting this call, it's controlled and she's not going to help. That's why I got to interrupt the crimes being committed on my phone. Well, that's why sure Eddie couldn't take me. That's why Eddie couldn't like take me because he, they don't want any witnesses uh, that they don't want. They want to make guests like me and make sure it seem like it's me. So that's why Eddie couldn't take me. He was a witness to the okay. insanity going on with my phone and the police department's covering for it. That's why he couldn't take me. Well, Miss Kiana, I will have Danny call you this week. I've explained to you our policies. And so I'm going to contact the victim's advocate and now I'm going to get off the phone. Okay. Okay. So we can't talk any further about the victim's advocate. You just got to let me sit and maybe she'll help if she decides she will. I have, I have to contact her. So yes, that's correct. Okay. But and let me sit and I just want to make sure I have clarity, ma'am. Cause these calls in the same way and my uh, people being rude and hanging up in my face. It got, it has to be psychologically abusive. I just wanted to make sure that I understood cl clearly that I have a domestic violence crisis that involves the police department and she may help me or may not. Did I understand okay, that clearly? Find out if she's able to. Okay. So if she's able to, um, why would I not have access to that help? Why does she have as a choice I, in helping me? That's conspiracy to violate as, rights, ma'am. As I stated before, is that... She may have to have a police report to get involved. I am unsure. I have so police. No one asked me. Her. I have police reports. Well, again, I have to contact her. I don't. She doesn't work for me. I don't know what her rules are. I don't know what her limitations are. Well, ma'am, if it goes the way that it has been going with my phone being controlled and uh, abuse, then she's not going to help me. That's why I had to record these calls. So people can see how long people have been violating my rights and scheming to deprive me of services and keep me in my abuse. That's criminal if I, they allow my abuser and corrupt police that have arrested me for profit to control my environments and keep me in abuse and deprive me of services to escape their abuse in addition. And then are rude okay. and so psychologically abusive to me when they talk to me about denying me services. They deflect well, on them the committing crimes and then punish me you, for exposing you crimes that have been committed. For any emergency needs. Ma'am, these are the calls that I can get. It's a pattern. Okay. I, okay. I don't know if she'll contact me, ma'am, because if my environments are controlled. Okay. Well, I'm going to reach out to her. So, and Danny will contact you later this week. Okay. Um, I will call you back when I get an update. Okay. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye.